been watching too many murder podcasts. What's happening? That was literally scary. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to just do, I always say a video I've never done before, but um, this is really a video I've never done before. Uh, hold on, let me get comfortable. I don't know how to start this. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a video and I didn't have anything else planned or any other, um, yeah, I just didn't have any, I don't know why, I don't know how to say this. Um, I just didn't have anything planned uh, for this week, and there's a lot going on uh, in my life, so I just thought, why don't I just talk about it? Uh, I don't know if these videos are going to be interesting for you guys. I do like, um, you know, updating you guys. I feel like I've built friendships on here and good relationships with people on this community, so I do want to, you know, update everyone. Um, on what's going on and sometimes it's really fun and exciting things and sometimes it's just like difficult life stuff uh, if that makes sense so <laughs> I feel like I'm so awkward Ugh. so I'll just hop right in so I hope that you guys um, can take away from this video and if there's anything that you guys can um, contribute to the video just leave it down in the comments and let's just get started okay so like I said at the beginning um, there's just a lot going on and I just like I said I didn't have anything filmed and I just thought why don't I just set up my camera and just chit chat with you guys on what's going on so I really don't know how to start this I haven't like wrote anything down I don't have any ideas it's kind of just like what's ever in my head I'm just gonna spit out just kind of like I'm chit chatting uh, with a friend or something at lunch I don't know um, I just went to lunch with my best friend McKaylee. It was really fun. Thank you for lunch. And uh, so I feel a little bit better because uh, I was kind of feeling a little bit um, anxious this past week. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, I was living with my mom. We both live in this apartment. Uh, we've been to living together for a year and it's been really awesome. My little sister's been here. Like it's just been fun to live with them. Um, and it's always just been my mom and I. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I lost my dad when I was eight years old, uh, suddenly to a heart attack is how he passed away. So this month especially, it's just, it, it gets a little bit difficult just because this is, this month is the anniversary of when we lost my dad. And so that can just kind of, I don't know. Um, bring up like emotions or like an easy not uneasiness but it's just you know it's just a hard time of the year and I feel like when it first happened you always kind of hear like people say you know it gets easier with time um, which it, it does it does always you know get easier I mean I was eight years old when it happened so it's just become a part of my life where it is something that happened and I have a great mom who was able to, you know, pick up the pieces and just remind us that, you know, our life will go on and there's still joy and happiness in their life and I don't feel like I missed out on anything, um, not having a dad. I had a great relationship with him and he was, you know, an amazing dad to us, but um, for the most part I don't feel like I missed out in any way. I, you know, I still got to do everything that I wanted to do in my life and it is just something that will just always be a part of me and will follow me, um, especially during this month. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to wrap around. So you'll always hear that it gets better with time and it always does, um, but it is something that you just can't help but, you know, remember or you want to, you know, remember them, especially on that day or on, you know, during that month. So yeah, that's just kind of what I've been like dealing with and I feel like, I'm sweating, <laughs> um, I feel like why I, want, I didn't want to make this video on uh, losing my dad, that's just not something maybe I could go, I, I don't really know, I don't really know how to make a video on that or what would be interesting about that. That's not why I wanted to make this video, but that is a part of what this video is about. Okay, so let me start over. So I've been living with my mom in this apartment for the last year and it's been so fun and so amazing. Um, and recently, just like, you know, with life events, she has had to move um, to another state, back to where she was living before. Um, she was living out in Vegas, so she moved back there. Um, and obviously, as you guys know, me and Sebastian are gonna be moving out uh, together as well at the end of this month, which we're so excited about. 
Uh, but for some reason, I don't know, and I think that that's really why I wanted to make this video is because I've noticed within those two life changes of my mom moving at the same time as me and Sebastian are moving, I, I felt myself getting a little bit more anxious for her to leave and for me to leave. And I, I just wanted to maybe, I don't know, open up the conversation about this because I feel like this is like the first time in my life where I've ever like recognized that I have like separation anxiety from her. Which sounds weird and like I've, there just hasn't, like I looked up videos on YouTube and there's not a lot of like videos about this or conversations about this and I only, I don't know, it's not, I don't know what I was looking for or what I wanted to hear from other people but I just wasn't getting it. Um, there was like obviously scientific like videos about like what separation anxiety is or it's like very common obviously in children is what we're used to and so I don't know I felt like I um, I don't know I just wanted to talk about it because it is something that I know that like I'm struggling with but it sounds weird struggling with it at 22 so I think it comes from a place of because I lost a parent um, I have only ever had one parent you know primarily through my whole life and I just feel more comfortable when my mom is like close by, not in the way like where I can't, like I still love to like, I've always like loved to sleep over, I've always loved to like, you know, I sleep over at Sebastian's, like I'm fine to leave like my mom for like the week or whatever, but I feel like when it's such a big jump of, okay, now she's not in the state anymore, that has made me like nervous because losing a parent I think you know how important it is at least for me like I know how easy it is for your life to change in a second or a day and everything's completely different so for me in my mind I feel like oh I would rather just spend all my time you know with my mom and people who in Sebastian you know people who care I care for um and I think that just comes from a fear of being eight years old and you know one day having your dad and then the next day not, um, which I know is something that I still actively need to work on. I've never seen a therapist like regularly. I've never even like looked into that, nothing. Um, and I know that that's something that probably maybe would help. And I think that's a huge part of this video is just wondering, it doesn't even have to be, you know, if you lost a parent, anything like that, even if your parents are divorced or even if you have both your parents and you find it hard with these changes and growing up and having to live somewhere else. I mean, that could be a thing maybe as well too if you have a great relationship with your parents and you have a tight-knit family. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know if this is like normal or if I'm just like, I just think I look at myself and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be 22, I'm gonna be married and moved out of my house, but yet I'm finding this next stage of my life really difficult to move on and I don't know why I've never felt I don't know I've never felt scared before but I just yeah I don't know I just feel there's just been a lot of changes um, in the last couple months that I'm really anxious about and I don't know how to fix them not fix them but just be okay with it or if I'm just like crazy <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I'm just weird and it's and I'm so excited it's weird because I'm so excited to do all these things like I just want to go to Target and buy all of the house things and build a life with Sebastian and like make him breakfast and just like make memories but then it's like I don't want to it's just like I'm in my head I think like okay you know if I don't see my mom every day what will happen or I don't know I don't know if this video makes any sense but and I, I say this cautiously because I know like my mom <laughs> or like parents are gonna be watching this and I don't mean to say that I don't mean it to sound like I am not you know living my day-to-day -day life because I am I'm fine um, it's just like a hard situation that I've never encountered I mean I've never lived with a boy before I've never had to do this before I've always just lived you know with my mom and my sisters and it's it's something that was really fun for me and it's something that's really hard to um, say goodbye to and I think that that's maybe normal uh, for a chapter to be closing 
for a new one to be opening and I'm so excited like I'm so excited to live with Sebastian but um, yeah it's just hard to I don't know it's hard to I never thought like I would not want to live with my mom but <laughs> I just think at the end of the day like I just wanted to do this video uh, because maybe someone else is feeling like this too or maybe someone has dealt with this before um, and something helped them or yeah, I just want to feel like at ease. I want to feel at ease that my mom is in a different state and I'm with Sebastian and everything's going to be fine. Just because we don't live together doesn't mean that she won't be here the next day or something's going to happen. Like, I know that that's not true and that's just like me, be, me, <laughs> me being crazy, but um, I would just, I don't know, I just would like to feel like maybe I'm not the only one that feels this way or how to fix this I don't know but um, leave your therapist number down below just kidding yeah that's just like a long rambling video of that's it so I think um, I really wanted to put this video out um, and then hopefully to be able to talk about it in a few months of you know how I'm feeling or um, you know, because I think it's something that will always stay with me. Just like I said, you know, anniversaries of, you know, my dad and my sister passing are something that will, I will always deal with. I think everyone has something that they're struggling with or has some, maybe some sort of anxiety that they're going to constantly have to work through. I've never really had that before. Like, I just, um, I'm usually like this all the time, like, for real. So <laughs> when something is, like, making me uncomfortable, it, like really makes me uncomfortable all the time um, and it's always just been like a separation anxiety for me I think um, and I'm excited to you know work on this and maybe come up with the tools that will help me that I could share to someone else and, and help them um, so yeah that's just what I'm dealing with and what I've been working with day to day as well as just like it's a crazy time we're moving, it's stressful, I started a new job, which I'm so excited for. I feel so blessed that um, I have this new great job that I can't wait uh, to get more into. And it's just a time of change, and I think this just goes to show that I'm not good with change. So, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if this video made no sense and you're like, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> there'll be another video next week <laughs> that'll be more fun and exciting. I just, I don't know, I just thought I would just talk about what was going on and um, it feels like therapeutic to be able to like talk this out. Like I said, I have great friends and Sebastian and my family that I can talk about this with, but at the same time, they've never, like they don't experience it. I'm the, like I'm the only one that's like going through this, um, this like thing in my head. And so I thought I would open up to a wider audience and see if maybe I connect with someone else about this, um, just because I think that it would be interesting to have this conversation with someone else that's maybe going through it and we could be there for each other, I don't know. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed, and if you didn't, I'm sorry, <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!